Seasons, greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs and welcome to this week's uh, Christmas edition of Transformer of the Week where, well, it's pretty much nearly Christmas and we're feeling a bit festive as it were and for me, I quite like the romanticism of, you know, the Santa Claus kind of thing with his elves working away in his workshop hammering on you know little wooden objects to make these uh, Christmas toys uh, Christmas toys when you think about this imagery of, of Santa Claus and stuff are far away from, from what toys are nowadays we're looking at all these like wooden trains and things like that and so as a big Transformers fan I'm a Transformers robot fan that's a very an image that is, is so far away from what even I had, as I had, as a child. So I didn't really get these weird wooden objects. Especially not in Transformers. But then there's this guy. This is a wooden trans figure. That's what he's called. Wooden trans figures. Um, made from Toys of Wood Oxford. It's a multifunctional wooden toys exclusively on Amazon, if that's where you want to buy it. So this is the weird, odd thing. It's a wooden transformer. It is a transformer made of wood. Not only that, it can accomplish many modes as long as you have imagination. So I quite like this out. There's no mention of Hasbro or anything in this, so I guess... It's third party, but then they've gone, it's inspired by Transformers the movie characters, Optimus Prime, Jazz, Bumblebee, Starscream, Megatron, and Devastator. So take it, that's all the different flavours you can get in, and they have this. So this is, apparently that's Jazz. <laughs> or inspired by Jazz. So yeah, it's... Basically wooden blocks held together with a bungee wire, which means that they can puzzle them into very different forms with all these slots in the woods. And just basically it's about moving bits around to find a shape that's pleasing to you. So let's go into this. I mean, and that's the beauty of this. It is just a, it's a puzzling little toy so we can flip let's see this up there move these down like so move these around move these like so like so and you have like a kind of Dragster type vehicle. I don't know if that would work better. Sometimes it's just how you flip your wood around. A, a, a little dragster type vehicle. And from there, it's not a massive kind of leap to take that. And then maybe if we, let's see. Leave that there, move these down, move these kind of around like so, move these to there, and all of a sudden that becomes some kind of like cannon. Placement, a cannon thing. And it's easy enough just to then um, move everything, puzzle everything back. To its robot mode. Now, um, animal is very easy to achieve. Um, so yeah, some kind of animal. 
if you don't want it really something more if you want something more um, reptilian could um, see okay, give it a lower um, body stance And that goes for a more different kind of animal. See, we're getting a theme here of things you can do. So with that, maybe then you wanted to move stuff around from there. Let's take a look what we're doing. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on. Again, that could be some kind of spaceship. different kind of vehicle again don't know where we're going with this but <laughs> It's puzzles, it's forming shapes, it's using imagination, it's a lot of fun. It could be a challenge to see who could form the most amount of um, modes with this, the strangest kind of modes with this um i have no idea what that is <laughs> some kind of alien head <laughs> right you kind of get my point let's see if we can end this on something spectacular it's kind of weird how these blocks form and you do kind of tend to end up making very similar four-wheel vehicles <laughs> See, so they had that kind of truck there, but that's a completely flipped around. It's a cylinder drag stuff to the beginning, but this time the arms are the, is the front section, and the legs are the back section. So it's a completely different vehicle, but it's the same type of vehicle. And I think it's just a great way of just. Um, learning how to interpret shapes and how to create different shapes just using a very simple structure it's kind of I hope 
everyone who designs Transformers has one of these on the desk. And so they can just think about how they can manipulate shapes into other shapes and become a car or a plane or an animal or a reptile or a submarine or a gun you know whatever so yeah this is possibly one of the oddest kind of third party transforms around certainly probably one of the cheapest it's about five pounds or something like that but it's a lot of fun there's a lot of joy here and just this wooden sturdy building block construction also seems thematically very Christmassy and on that note <laughs> let's just say Merry Christmas to you all. Thanks for watching. Join us next week. We're, we'll probably be going on to our top 10 Transformers. Uh, top 10 other action figures that I've bought this year. And we might be pre-drinking for New Year's Eve. So it could be a very merry episode or disaster. I don't know. In the meantime, thanks for joining me this year. Thanks for everyone who's subscribed, who's commented who's liked or just watched really in general um, and let's keep it going and the festive goodwill and spirit onto the new year a merry christmas to you and yours and a very happy new year but until the next time be excellent to each other party on dudes and because you deserve it christmas fistmas <laughs> <laughs>